music is like a language to me. It speaks to me in different ways than words can. I know a lot of people are able to vent their feelings through words and express themselves through that, but for me, I always express my emotions the best when it was through music and putting life and a melody into those words. So to me, music is like a whole nother language. Hi, my name is Julian Kim. Uh, I was born in Korea um, and I moved to the States when, back in 99 with my parents. Um, I grew up in the Northern Virginia m- metropolitan area um, and I moved down to Lynchburg back in 2013 to study for my undergrad um, and ever since then I've been here. My new album, the album is called Summer Nights. Um, it consists about of about five songs and they're all kind of just, uh, they're all different themes. Some of them is like falling in love, some, ones, some of them is falling out of love. Some of them is kind of one of those things where it's like, I like this person, but this person doesn't like me back. And uh, stuff like that, it's kind of like real life scenarios where people go through in everyday life with, while you're growing up, you know, you have feelings for the significant other. Um, so I feel like it, those songs, you know, a lot of people will be able to kind of relate, especially those who are kind of going through that um you know phase of wanting to i guess fall in love i don't know <laughs> the title of the album is summer nights um the song the song i actually um it, one of the songs is is the title uh track and i kind of based the album name off of that one track actually when i got a lot of uh, some of the beats from uh, the people that I've worked with um it it instantly reminded me of summer it made me want to go to the beach it made me want to like kind of like put my hands out in the air in the car when my, when I'm with my friends and kind of just like play in the water stuff like that and I found I, I I got very like positive vibes very like hey let's hang out let's like let's have fun kind of vibe so that's kind of uh, another reason why I wanted to go with the summer vibe um and then at, by the time I wrote like three songs I was like okay they're all summerish vibes anyway so let's just go with this theme <laughs> So summer nights is one of those songs where it's like um, you're going to the beach in the summer with your friends and the girl or the boy that you like is in that same car with you and you guys are going to the beach and you're there and you're just like, hey, like let's just go to the water and play. Like let's not care about a single care about what other people think let's have fun like i and it's like one of those songs where you're just kind of like confessing your love for them like it, there's lyrics like you look beautiful tonight and stuff like that where you're kind of just confessing like your love to them so that's what summer nights is about so summer nights kind of came it, it was actually kind of random um i was at the library and i was with my friends and i was listening to the beats um, that the beat sent me and I was listening I was like oh my gosh okay I want to I want to work on this song so I'm just there and you know c- my friends are watching Netflix or like doing homework and stuff and I'm over here trying to like figure out a melody hey, 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 the chorus came to me 
that night. And from there, I was able to kind of work forward with it. Um, so that one was kind of just an inspiration of like, oh man, I just want to have fun in the summer. I just want to fall in love with someone and you know live a great life. Shooting Star is completely the opposite. Shooting Star is one of those things where it's actually exactly like the title Shooting Star. You can only wish for it to happen. It, it's one of those things where you know it can't happen for whatever reason it may, may be, and you may still still be infatuated with them. So it's kind of one of those things where I named a shooting star because it's one of those things where you can't actually have or reach, but you always admire it from afar. Uh, shooting star came about because I was in this, um, there was a moment in my life where I was, this girl had caught my interest and I wanted to get to know her more. Um, but it was one of those things where I didn't know how to go about it because we didn't have any mutual friends or anything like that. Um, and so I was like, okay, so she's like, it's one of those things where I can only wish I could talk to her. I can only wish that we could, you know, be friends or something more than that. Um, so that's kind of how she didn't start came about. I was like, okay, it's, it kind of matches up because, um, yeah, it never worked out. <laughs> It's really special to me because I've never really like released um, like love songs before. I, I never thought, um, I, I always made them as a hobby, but I never actually thought about releasing it. So being able to release a song that's really true to my heart, true to my feelings, um, a, lot, a lot of these songs are based on experience or what I felt at that moment or in time. So uh, things like that, it holds a special place because of that. <laughs> Um, I get random inspirations. Like I would literally be at like a Starbucks or something and I would see something and be like, wait, like that's pretty good. I think I could use that. Or my friend, or I'll be hanging out with my friends and they would say something. And they and I would hear it, and it's funny because they joke around. They'd be like, "Oh, you can use this for your lyrics for your next song." I'm just like, wait, that's actually good. Like, I can actually use that. So it's like stuff like that where I get like random inspirations, and then um, I just kind of put my mind to it um, and try to find a melody and whatnot. Yeah. Um, more than anything, I want people to be able to relate to it. I want them to hear it and be like, okay. Um, I'm in this stage of my life, you know, whether that be, you know, they're falling in love, out of love, they're sad, excited, wherever that may be. Um, or maybe sometimes they're feeling lonely and they feel alone. Whatever their situation is, I want them to feel like they're understood, that they're, you know, that they aren't alone in this world. It might feel like that, but there are other people. It's so easy to kind of lose yourself a lot of times. There, society always tells people, you have to be this way to be cool. You have to be this way to be accepted. But I feel like you should be true to your own skin, right? And I want like my music to be able to reflect out of that of being like, hey, like you be you. Like if that's your color, you be you. And um, so stuff like that, I want people to kind of find their confidence in themselves. Um, and through, if they can do that through my songs, that'd be great. So this is more towards like my friends and family first. Um, a special shout out to um, just anyone who has kind of helped me and um, was involved in this making of this album. Um, each of you guys played a special part in it and I don't think this album would exist without you guys. Biggest, 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 biggest thanks to my three or four family. Um, this album really would have never even been made or started without you guys. So I just want to thank you guys for supporting me, for listening to my music, for giving me feedback. You guys really made this album for me. Um, it wouldn't be what it is today if it wasn't for you guys. I just want to thank you guys. I love you guys. Um, and special thanks to like my family, my brother, my mom and dad. Um, and to my fans, I guess to my more to uh, follow my Instagram. I just want to thank you guys for kind of being with me through all through all this. You guys have been with me for a while as I've been doing Instagram lives. Um, so I just want to thank you for all the support and love that you guys show me. Um, I hope you guys like this album. Um, I really poured out my blood, sweat, and tears into this. So I hope you guys like it. I, I, you guys seen some of the preview on the live. So here is the actual thing, right? Enjoy it, replay it like a thousand times. Let's, you know, let's get this going. Um, but other than that, I just want to thank you guys for watching. Thank 
thank you guys for coming and thank you guys for listening to my music um i love you guys and i hope all of you guys have a blessed rest of the night and my more stay blessed bye Hey, don't be afraid.